Oh, like you don't use the viewfinder in your camera for cosmetic reasons. So I wanted to talk about serving size. And I don't know if everybody else in the world has this, but certainly in America, the FDA makes us put nutrition facts on the side of boxes and things, like so. And it's always based on some bullshit serving size, like one half a cup for a bowl of Life cereal. And if you're like me, and your favorite cereal happens to be Life cereal, you can't just eat a half a cup of Life cereal. I mean, they don't even make half cup bowls. I have to eat at least like eight times that amount to be full. And I'm not even a big guy. The one that always really got to me was the serving size on Kellogg's Pop-Tarts. It was one toaster pastry. No one eats just one. You open the package, you eat both of them. That's the way it works. You stick them in the, the little toaster jobber, you heat them up, and then you eat them both. That's just the way it works. You never eat just one. That's ridiculous, because then it's not even a resealable package. What? But it's one. No, two. That's the serving size. My problem is not necessarily with the amount that I'm supposed to be eating, but the fact that they based all the nutrition facts on that tiny little amount, which no one actually really eats. I mean, unless you're on a diet, you eat more than the suggested serving size. You drink more than suggested serving size on a bottle of Coke. You drink the whole bottle. That's the way it works. I will say that in America, we make the packaging and the amounts much larger than the suggested serving size, whereas in other countries, they make it, you know, the serving size. So there is that problem for our international viewers. In America, if you buy a 20 ounce Coke, the suggested serving size of that Coke is eight ounces. So it's less than half. And for Life Cereal, it's a half a cup. My problem is basically this. In my half cup of Life Cereal, I only have 80 calories. So it says. But that doesn't actually realistically reflect what I'm going to be eating and consuming. My other problem is on the back of the box, they used to show what the suggested serving or balanced breakfast is. And it was like a cup of OJ and a cup of milk and a couple of slices of toast and some fruit and a tiny bowl of cereal and some other stuff. There was all this big amount of crap, but really we only eat this because we don't have time for that crap and they should understand that. The nutrition facts are just deceptive. That's all it is. And we should stop deceiving each other. Speaking of being deceived, YouTube didn't actually publish my videos last week, so if you didn't see any, it's because YouTube didn't publish them. So, here's Wednesday's video. There's never been any font face or font type that says, I'm being sarcastic. So what I'm proposing is that someone, <coughs> Karen Cavett, come up with that font face or font type. And here's Friday's video. You've got to do it. If you're only doing something on a trial basis, you'll never ever know if it works out because you're not putting your full investment into it. So that's what I meant last Friday when I said take risks. Just do stuff. Just Throw it all out there. I actually did post them. Go check those out, and I'll see you guys on Friday.